Hey everyone, welcome back to Game Center Crown. My name is Joy. We are currently on top of the Ridgeland Tower, and I totally forgot to talk to the guy standing behind us the last time when we uh, activated this tower. So let's go do that. Hmm, it's quite high. If only I was a bird man, we can say, <clears throat> or we can scare him. Boo! Whoa, where did you come from? Don't scare me like that. How, how did you get up here? Though I suppose you could ask me the same question. You see, I have dedicated my life to the study of birdmen. Their flight mechanics fascinate me. Birdmen referring to the Rito. Given their weight, it should be physically impossible for them to fly with wings of their size. I just don't get it. I was standing on the ground watching the skies when suddenly this tower erupted beneath my feet. I've been stuck up here with no way to get down. But my misfortune is a blessing in disguise. You see, this tower is the perfect place to observe birdmen and their natural habitat. Oh my, now that you've climbed up here, how will you get down without falling? I suppose you're stuck up here too. I'll just fly down. Mm? What? You can fly? You can fly like a birdman? Is that true? I thought it was impossible for a Hylian to fly like a birdman. Ah, uh, it's more like gliding then? That's still a step in the right direction. If I can analyze your glide distance and trajectory, it might help us understand the science of birdman flight. Then maybe one day I'll finally realize my dream of becoming a bird. <clears throat> Would you mind participating in a short research study? I want to see how far you can glide. You'll be compensated for your time and travel depending on how far you fly, so how about it? I'll glide for you. <laughs> Marvelous! Our findings today may prove to be the cornerstone of Birdman research for generations to come. However, you are merely gliding, not flying, making this a rather dangerous research project. As such, a liability fee of 20 rupees will be necessary to proceed, you know, in case I have to file an incident report. No. Fine. Fucking asshole. Alright. Landing elevation, wind direction, stamina usage. Keep all these in mind as you consider the farthest destination you can reach by gliding. Yeah, we don't have a lot of stamina on us right now. If you're ready, let's take to the skies. Birdman research study, go! Yeah, we're just gonna do this real quick for this guy. We can get some money back. Um, I think the longest recorded flight that I've found on YouTube is 5,000 meters, which is absurd, alright? Um, and it's not really worth doing because his rewards don't scale, so, uh, or at least they stop scaling at a point. But anyway, we'll come this way. And we'll go until our stamina runs out. Normally I would zigzag through this canyon. But since we have such little stamina, I don't want to fall to my death. So we'll just go until right about here. Please give us money back, dude. Please give us money back. Ah. Let's see here. You flew 426.6 meters. Small steps lead to great strides in the long run. Oh, right. Your compensation. Isn't the collection of priceless research data compensation enough? No? Fine. Well, a promise is a promise. Here's your reward. 21 rupees. Dot, dot, dot. Ugh, fine. I'll make it 50 rupees. Thank you, you piece of shit. So, if you're still up for it, why not glide down again? The world of Birdman research waits for no man. No, I'm done. <sighs> okay, but please come back soon. It's very boring up here. You can climb down whenever you want, buddy. Also, I just want to make a note that this guy has those ugly lips that you never use on your me, we creation menu. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I'm headed the right direction. So, oh god. Okay, so that's a thunderstorm. Did not mean to whistle. Seems that freckles couldn't hear you, no really. Um, yeah, I think that is the Thundera Plateau. Sarah Scab, Mount Rome, and we need to go this way. Ooh. Um, this is gonna be something. It's gonna be something. Let's get going. There's actually a uh, shrine quest right there in the middle where the thunderstorm is happening. Hilariously. Um, oh, and it looks like there's a Korok challenge up here. If you see stones in a circle, like right in front of me, that's usually a Korok thing. Uh, let's see how far we can get here. Thunder Plateau. Yeah, no shit. Am I carrying anything metal on me? Oh, fuck me. You have, 
you who have reached this land of thunder, I present you with a trial. When the four spirits have been settled in their proper places, they will guide you to the hero's trial. Well, I'm horrified. Um, trial of thunder. What? Oh, I have a... Okay, so you can see that all of these, except for the guardian weapons and the wooden weapon, have little lightning bolts coming out of them, and that's because we're in a thunderstorm. So I'm going to switch my weapon there. And it looks like the shield of the mind's eye is not made of metal. You'll notice that the night shield is made of metal and it has a little spark coming off of it. I'm actually going to switch to the soldier's shield. Trial of Thunder. So we might as well go and do this as long as we're over here. Um, and we should, for the most part, be okay. There's one of the orbs over here. Um, so basically we're trying to... Some of the orbs are not on that pedestal over there or that um, plateau. And it's raining shit. Um, so we actually have to be kind of creative in how we do this. Oh, hold on, hold on. Easy there. I want to hit that first. Hopefully that's enough. Uh, is that enough to at least knock it down where you can pick it up? Yes. Okay, so grab a bunch of our arrows back here. Grab that now. And I don't think there's necessarily a way to get it up there. Yeah. God damn it. Um actually, hold on. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, here we go. Maybe uh, we're still not close enough to really do much with it. But we can leave that there and look around for a second. The shitty part is that it's raining, so we're going to have trouble climbing things. And you'll notice that sort of Aurora Borealis effect happening up there. And that, my friends, is coming from Sartori Mountain. And specifically, Rutile Lake. And we will go there and see what's causing that eerie green glow. But um, it's actually super cool. God, I got stuck on a rock there. Um, Christ almighty. I don't want to... This is going to be a pain in the ass. Uh, thankfully, though, these are clearly marked with uh, what these need to be. And I'm wondering if... God damn it, son. If these are... If these coordinate with the spirits from Twilight Princess. I do not know. Look, just get... There we go. In your hole. Um... That one is above it. A little rusty claymore. You want to stay away from metal shit. And I'm really hoping we're not going to slip. Ah, spoke too soon. Yeah, fuck. And don't expect the rain to really let up, so... Probably we're going to have to... Ugh. Some of that. And knock it off. There we go. Hopefully that's enough. Yay, it was enough. Cool. There we go. Two are seated now. Ooh, hello. Yeah, so let me show you what happens. Gives a little bit of warning. And then lightning strikes and it sets your shit on fire. Oh, and I was really hoping that would be create a big enough updraft. And then this one. And it's spooky because you can see one of the uh, divine beasts right there. That's Bob Mido or Meadow, however you want to pronounce it. Um, and I'm actually wondering if there is some sort of slope that we can walk up here. That would allow us, or something that would allow us to toss it up onto this little platform we have going on here. Uh, shit. How did I do this? Oh my god, because I've done this. This is a shrine quest. Um, there's got to be a way to get up here. It might be the cryonosis or cryosis thing. Oh, that's a Korok right there. I see you, little asshole. Come here. 
Yeah. Give me your seed. Oh, that sounded bad. No, I take that back. Oh my god, that sounded really bad. Zero out of ten would not recommend. Um, ooh, tireless frog, hot-footed frog, rather. Yeah, there's lots of froggies out here. Froggy. Uh. God, I do not remember how to get up here. Hmm. <laughs> it might be. Actually, yes, I do. I take that back. I do know how to get him up there, and I don't appreciate it because we're probably going to have to fuck with one of our weapons to do it, but it's better. But at least there's a way to do it. Um, so let's grab this guy, and then I actually want to put it on this slope right here. And then we're going to beat the shit out of it with uh, one of our weapons. The harder and uh, as many, the more and harder you hit it, the farther it will go. So I actually want to make sure I have a very strong weapon. Oh fuck, it's made of metal. But it's likely the strongest one we have at the moment. Oh god, no, stop. Stop, 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 stop. No, fucking stop, you piece of shit. Yeah, and it's doing the electrical thing, so it was gonna strike me. Okay, now. Oh god. Fuck, fuck, I need to put that weapon away! Okay. Um. Is this gonna hurt? No, okay. God damn fucking lightning. Yeah, I don't. I, gu I guess I could use one of the guardian weapons, but the. Axe would probably send it further is why I'm spending time entertaining such a dangerous solution. Okay. I want to go red. There we go. Yay, that was enough to get it up onto the plateau. <laughs> Switch to something that isn't going to get us killed. Okay, and then we need to do the same thing with uh, that one over there. So, but yay, we got this one. Ugh. Yay! And then we get a shrine that pops up in the middle and everything. Oh God, style moblins and bokoblins. It looks like. Are you the red one? You are. There we go. Now let's go get the orange one. Get the fuck off of this plateau. I'm pretty sure after we solve this, I think this storm stops is what's really terrible. Um, let's see here. This one... Why do I feel like... Are we shielded from the rain? Is that what's happening here? I think so. It looks like we're sh No. That's gonna make a slip right there, isn't it? It's gonna be close. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're in the slippery part of it now. Shit. Um, that's an Octorok over there on bare land, if you saw, didn't see him before. Ooh, god, hello. Uh, yeah, right there. There he is. And they can move, which is less than fortunate. Less than ideal. Really? Can you chill with that shit? Okay, fine. Um, let's do that. And then hope to god. We are wasting so many arrows on this bullshit. No, I don't want to push that. Um, and did I knock it off? Did it fall off? Where did it go? Are you joking? It only rolled off a little bit? What the fuck? And that is a swarm of keys. No thank you. It's probably gonna come for us next. This is so dumb. I only have three arrows left. Um, let's see if we can shove it off the side with my last remaining arrows. I don't see it! Oh, there it goes, thank god. And I'm picking up some more arrows here. And this over here is a sneaky river snail. 
It can, uh, when cooked into a dish, it heightens your senses so you can move around silently and it's glow in the dark. Uh, usually things that give you stealth will glow in the dark. Um, okay, now we need to find a way to knock this one up onto the platform. So I'm actually going to take it back to where we uh, got our red ball up here. But first, these fucking keys. Um, here. That's not gonna get me electrocuted. Where are they? They're there. There. You get a lot of key swings this way. And then usually when you hit them around like that, they're like, oh shit, and they all fly off. So, as far as I can see, that did the trick. Okay! So I can finish this thing. So, we got the red one over here. Let's get this yellow oranges one uh, up on the same sort of slope and knock it over and we should be good to go good god uh, here we go and then we'll have a fucking I'm hoping this is a um, blessing shrine it should be for the trouble that we're going through to get this one done Hit. Okay, and then I actually want to use you. Go, son. Go. Get in it. Put red. It needs to be red. There we go. Yes! Yahtzee! Okay, there we go. Oh, take that shit off. Alright. Alright. We are so close to being done with this stupid-ass trial. I totally forgot that it you know, the monk voice ca voiceover came through on the spirit PA system. I told you, you should really do this. Um, okay, and then that one's over there. What fucks me up with this one, like, it, the markings are on the ball and also the column. But this one is very clearly yellow, and what we're holding is really more orange than anything else. I don't know, just little things like that. Cool. Trial of Thunder, the Toyasha Shrine. Cool, cool, cool. I am tired of this fucking thunderstorm. Thunderstorms are my least favorite part of this game. Gotta say. I'm like trying to think of something that I don't like more than thunderstorms and I'm coming up empty. Uh, I really, really hate the thunderstorms. Please be a blessing shrine. This does not look like a blessing shrine. Why, man? Come on! Ugh! Buried secrets. Fuck you, man. Ugh. This is gonna be a bombing one. Um. Actually. Can I? Oh, you're not metal. Screw it. Let's see. Well. Tits. Okay. Um, actually, no, I want to drop. No, I want to... There. And then I want to... go. Yeah, boy. And yes, okay. Get that weak shit out of my face. I actually want to bomb quite a few of the things in here. Just to see what's going on. What else we got? Yeah, what about you guys over there, huh? We can't do anything with these rocks, so might as well bust them all open. Whoa. There we go. This massive fucking switch. There we go. Yeah, we're just excavating now. Buried secrets, you say, huh? Uh, let's see. Actually, I don't think I want to do that one just yet. Because I think we use it as a bridge to get over there. Yeah, we don't want to do this one yet. 
So, let's see what happens when I hit this enormous fucking switch. Uh... I... okay. That's something. We're not heavy enough, and I probably should have known that. What about that? Ah, there we go. That's what we want. There's a metal block in there. Yeah, boy, come here. That's what I like to see. Now we can drop that on there. Classic Zelda. Classic. And then... Yeah, okay, so it creates this little platform. When we get up there, I'm gonna jump over to that. Because then we can do such a thing. Oh, is it enough? No, it's not! Ah, oh, fuck me. Okay. Now we gotta figure out how to get up there. Which... I'm not entirely sure how to do, my dudes. Huh, with that. Is there anything else I can grab? You know what I could do? I could knock it off. Or... Actually, hold on. Do I have any? I don't think I do. Um, Octorox drop something called Octo Balloons in this game, and you can attach it and like float it over. What I want to do... Oh god, I only have one fire arrow left. I don't want to waste it on something so trivial. But I want that treasure chest! Um... Huh, with that. Huh, with that. Actually, I want to try something. Oh, I know what I can do. Hold on. I can use this to push. Yeah, come on. Yo. Get off. There we go. Yay! That's using your head, using your noggin. Yo. Huh. And drop. Yeah, I know that's how the gate opens. You don't have to cutscene it. Uh, okay. Let's get our loot. Okay, not necessarily worth the brain, you know, the brainstorm that took, but whatever. Let's get on up here. Get our eighth spirit orb, so the next town we uh, hit, we should double upgrade. Speaks of the promise of a hero. Give me my eighth spirit orb, thank you very much. May the goddess smile upon you, and also you. Let's see. And we were headed towards a Sheikah Tower. We were actually headed towards a memory um, in the Tabantha region, which is where I was headed. And I was specifically heading to where um, the... Like, I think the tower is over there? And look, it's all nice and calm out here now, motherfucker. Um... We did not get very far, did we? We've been meaning to go over here. So, we're gonna do that. Am I facing? Now I'm facing the right way. Cool. So we're gonna head this way again. And, uh... Ooh, I'm actually wondering how we're... gonna get up this cliff. We're actually probably gonna have to go around. Shit. And that green glow is still up there. And these look like they're probably pebblets. Oh, there he is. Oh, I, I hit the butterfly, not the... Okay. Oh god! Yep, there they are! Ah. Here. Oh, give me a real weapon. I can use my real weapons now. Get the fuck up out of here. There. And we can get an Octorok tentacle. Um, it's too acidic for cooking, but it's highly valued as an ingredient for elixirs. This is the Octo Balloon I was talking about. Attach it to items you want to see float. Hold it in your hands and then place it on an object to attach it. Get our Octo Balloon. Get our piece of amber. <laughs> And blow up that asshole. And he gives us another piece of amber. Boo! Amber is like low-key useless in this game. 
It's not completely useless, but a little bit useless. Anyway, um, I'm actually probably gonna run around. Get away from me, you Octorok mo motherfucker. Hold on. Snap a pick for our compendium, Forest Octorok, save. Cool. Oh my god, bye! Yeah, I'll see you guys next time, it's been real. Um, you'll probably catch me while I'm mid-run to our next tower in the Tabantha region and also our next memory. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Later, y'all.